So I've had a very interesting day. As I said in yesterday's video, I've taken the day off and I wasn't gonna film much today just because I wanted to spend time kind of away from work and filming and stuff, just so I can kind of, I guess, turn for it, revitalize, kind of just realign with my goals and, and just get things back on track because every once in a while you kind of get a little bit unorganized after a bit and things start going not <clears throat> not to plan. So I spent the day doing that. I'll, I'll tell you what I did. This morning I woke up, there was a big running race, the, the Two Oceans Marathon. So my mom and I went and watched that for a bit. I think it was about half past six to about half seven, eight in the morning. We watched the runners coming past. Had some coffee, which was nice and relaxing. Good, good to see people running like that. And then after that, we went for a breakfast at a cafe. Had a very good, very good breakfast there. Went and did some shopping. We came back and I went to the gym. I trained like an animal today, by the way. I went to the gym for about an hour and a half and I just, I obviously, I didn't do weight training today, but I did um, some bag stuff, kicking and punching and kneeing and elbowing, getting all that sort of stuff, getting the drills in uh, as well as some, some cardio. So I was there for about an hour and a half. Then I went to the shops and I had a little like a Frio type thing, it's like this lemonade, mint, ice, whatever, drink. Um, came back home, sat in the sun for a bit, kind of just allowed the, the thoughts to come out of my brain, and I, d I did a lot of reflecting. Um, then I went to gym again, for some reason. I was at gym again for another two hours doing the same thing. Uh, it's just obviously when my mind's busy, I like to exert exert my, my thoughts into something, so I chose to do something physical. After gym, I came back home and I've just been thinking for most of the day and I realized that the time of my life where I was the happiest was when I was working the hardest because recently, sure, I've been working hard, but I haven't been as happy as I was at one stage and that stage was about August, sorry, J July to... I'd say October last year, that was the most fulfilling, the hardest I've ever worked, the most disciplined I've ever been, and just generally the, the happiest I've ever been. And I kind of tried to unpack that. I was like, why, why are things different now? And why, why do I feel like I've lost that kind of drive like I had then? And I realized it's because back then I wasn't, I didn't have YouTube on my phone. I wasn't using Instagram. Things were, I was hardly using anything. And when I was waking up, I was waking up at 4 a.m. I wasn't meditating or doing any cold showers or anything. I was just instantly getting getting to work. I, I would literally wake up, go brush my teeth and shower, come back and work for about half an hour. Then I'd go to gym. I'd come back, go to university. I'd work at university just before it started, get uni done, come home and work until about 11 o'clock at night, just constant work. That's all I was doing at that stage of my life. I wasn't doing anything else and it was the same stuff every day. And I, I, I didn't see much success during that time because I was trying something that didn't work, but it was, I just had very clear goals. And that was because also before that I wrote, I wrote out a plan of, of what I wanted to do with specific dates attached to it. I was like, I want to have this by then. I want to be doing this by that date. And, and how am I going to do this? And it was very regimented the way I went about things. So it was like, I want to be making this much by this date. And then what happened after that was I achieved the goal through something else. But once I achieved that goal, I kind of softened a little bit. I started having a little bit more like, oh, I can have some free time. I can go here. I can go there. And recently, <clears throat> obviously, I still work incredibly hard and I get a lot of a lot of work done. But... I've also been a lot more, I've been going out and doing things I don't really need to be doing, like going to restaurants and things and just sitting there and that's doing nothing. I think back then it I was very, very, very disciplined about how I was doing things. I was like, do I need to be doing this? Is this contributing to my goal? No, it's not. Okay, I'm not going to do it. Whereas recently, like I said, because I've achieved my goal, I was kind of like, okay, I can chill for a bit now. And... Obviously, you guys 
watching my videos, I'm always getting messages like, oh, James, you're so hard, incredibly hardworking, so disciplined and stuff, but it can be very deceiving when you see things on camera. And obviously um, I'm try I try to be as authentic as I can, as authentic as possible, but I just haven't had that, that discipline like I used to have. I wasn't, I'm not as hardworking as I was. I've not had that drive. I haven't been as regimented as I'd like to be. So what I've done today was I wrote out, I was like, okay, where do I start? I can improve my, my drive, my discipline and stuff by what I do every day. So what do I want to include in what I do every day? I wrote out all the things I want in my schedule. And actually I have this here. What do I want in my life? I want my work, which is sales, obviously. Another thing I've stopped doing is learning. Back then I was learning every day, learning something new. Now it's just, okay, I have a sales job and that's all I really do. I don't actively learn new things. So that's something I really need to, to dial into. And that whether I think a big thing I need to start learning about is, is AI, because that is, it's the future and you, you can't deny that. So I wanna start learning how I can leverage it to my advantage learning different things about investing and, and crypto and just stuff like this. Obviously not for now, but for further down the line, because having that information is an asset. So that's something I want is learning. I want more opportunities to network with like-minded people, because at the moment, the only like-minded like person I know, like me, that I'm close with is Reese. That's it. I don't know anyone else who's like us. Then Muay Thai, obviously. Um, a social event or an adventure every week because I think that's also very important for development because when you're spending all of this time inside you need to remember how to be social because otherwise you turn into a bit of a social idiot and healthy diet that's one thing I really really want to get sorted is a healthy diet because like I've said before oh, I'm just getting something quick but that's just cope that's just cope I can have a healthier diet I want to be setting myself up for my future that was a big thing as well back then. I was thinking to myself, what would future James be thankful for? What would he thank me for that I'm doing today? And I kind of, I, I, I thought about that question today and I was like, what would he be thankful for? I kind of saw myself in the third person doing the things I'm doing. I'm like, I don't need to be doing that. So setting myself up for my future and obviously family time. And another thing I was doing back then, I wasn't going to sleep at a certain time. I was just going to sleep when I was tired, when I was, when I worked so much that I was just, okay, I need to sleep now. Whereas now I'll work until 11, 11.30. And I'm like, okay, that's my bedtime. And I'll sit in bed for sometimes half an hour, an hour, hour and a half, and I can't sleep. But realistically, I'm not tired when I'm getting into bed, which is not good. Um, Daily reflection. This is a new thing I'm going to start doing. Instead of meditating and cold showers and all this cute stuff that you hear about online, I'm going to be, before I go to bed, spending half an hour, no technology, nothing, just sitting in a dark room thinking, what did I do today? How could I have done it better? Where did I go wrong? What did I do right? And I think having that daily reflection is something I haven't been doing recently as well. Obviously, you get thoughts in your head, but I want to actively sit for half an hour each night and think, how could I do better tomorrow? And obviously writing out a checklist for things I need to get done this week and tomorrow. Then weightlifting too, obviously. I have a three day split, three days of Muay Thai, three days of weightlifting, one day of running on the treadmill. And I want a, a bi-weekly, so two times a week, sauna and cold shower. So that's kind of the stuff I want to include in my schedule. It's obviously, I might've missed a few things, but I've also written out a new schedule for myself. I did an Excel spreadsheet got exact times and things of what I want to be doing and that sort of thing. So that that's kind of how I, I got that, those sort of thoughts flowing in my head again. And then I had supper. After supper, I went and had a bath. And that was when I was really just thinking d deeply because I got some, I was just sitting there in the bath in complete darkness. Just, it, it was great. I got a lot of thoughts coming to my head. So I need my urgency back. I need my urgency back. And I think a, b a big reason, a lot of people will poo-poo me for not meditating or doing cold showers anymore. But I realized, I was like, when I wake up and, and obviously meditate in the morning, 
when I wake up, I'm in go mode. I want to get going. And when I'm after I meditate in the morning, that go mode kind of energy is just gone. So it's just, I don't know. I don't think I need it. And obviously doing it later in the day doesn't really have an effect like it does in the morning. Um, cold showers, I'm not doing it more because I realize like, what does it actually prove? It, it Obviously it's a source of discipline, but so so is fighting and working hard and stuff and it it's just kind of like pointless like it doesn't actually mean anything having a cold shower obviously there's there's benefits like having energy but i get the same amount of energy for having like a ridiculously boiling hot shower so and and i have done cold showers before so this isn't complete this isn't just speculation i've done cold showers before and i didn't see a massive difference so that's yeah it's another thing and I've done a new habit tracker. I've put a new habit tracker on my wall. I should read you what I've got on there. So I've got clean eating, clean diet. I've got my vitamins, so vitamin D and zinc. Talking to new, two new people a day, that's still on there because that's still good. Learning every day, I've got that. Reflecting, working as hard as humanly possible. I've got that wahap uh, as an abbreviation. Reading and looking at my goals each morning. So that's the new, the new habit tracker. So I know that was a lot of information to digest and it's going to be interesting to see how things go from tomorrow onwards. Um, I, I just need to move with some urgency. But that's really it for today's video. I'm going to wrap it up here. You guys can go like and subscribe and comment. I'll see you tomorrow.